Okay, so recently, uh, for everybody that don't know, the Migos, or Migos, I'm honestly not sure which way it's supposed to. Could y'all leave it in a, could somebody help me? Comments. Is it the Migos, or is it me? Anyway, so, those three guys have been having a problem with their management. And Cardi B's wanted to step out to let y'all know, Yo, look, man, none of those issues are my issues. My attorney takes care of everything. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so! Yeah! So, apparently... We have a situation where Cardi B wants the world to know that she does not have management issues. Okay, so real quick, let me break a couple of things down before we even get into why this would be a thing. Because I bet a lot of people were like, why is this even a thing? This isn't nothing to discuss. This is just BS. No. Okay, so what a lot of people fail to realize is that most artists most of these uh musicians that do shows and do concerts and things alike they get a lot of their actual money that they receive from the doing of those concerts yes you got it and now with the whole climate that the world is in currently a lot of these individuals have not been able to you know work and since they haven't been able to work and they haven't been able to go do those shows take into consideration these guys are going to do shows or they're going to do a walkthrough or something and like at they making a hundred two hundred thousand a week you know what i'm saying they could go do a couple of walkthroughs and make twenty thousand a pop you understand what i'm saying so you know they're making money but now the strip clubs is closed there's no walkthroughs now you you're not doing no shows your tour shut down because of the whole coronavirus situation so there are people that are hurting for money so right now a lot of individuals are getting caught with their shenanigans because before, previously, when some of these rappers probably weren't looking as tightly at their money because they were making so much money, now, some of these individuals are like, hey, maybe we should pay attention to how much is going out because not as much is coming in as just would usually be expected. Now, I'm not saying that this is the same situation that Cardi B finds herself in or the Migos, but what I'm saying is Cardi B found reason to talk about this particular subject. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Complex um tyra tyra c i do not know how to say your last name baby girl but it starts with a m a h a d e that mahadevan tyra c uh reports that cardi b uh revealed on twitter that she currently doesn't have any management now uh one of the things that i want people to know that is there are cur there are quite a few rappers that do not have management takashi 69 does not have management there are quite a few people that do not have management I'm pretty sure right now there are quite a few rappers that wish they did not have management because of what their management might be doing. Anyway, the thing that makes this story pretty big is somebody had put out a tweet basically referencing um, the Cardi B situation as far as uh, who's her management or whatever the case is. First, somebody asked her who her management was. She said she didn't have any management. And then there was another uh, pretty, I don't know how you want to look at the situation, but another individual decided that they were going to tweet out basically what was going on in Cardi B's, uh, I don't know how you want to say it, Cardi B's situation. They tweeted out basically what Cardi B wasn't actually saying probably didn't want to say i don't know how to put it and in that tweet that they sent out they basically spoke about um the the the, the climate if you want to call it of of uh hip-hop right now with artists but even more importantly um they spoke about how you know cardi b's already given money out donated things like that and then as you can see the tweet coming up right there also because there was a lot of tweets about this by the way it was also tweeted that She's not in the legal dispute with QC. Remember, QC is the management team for uh, the Migos. 
and she's not in a dispute with them actually her previous management team i believe was like ksr i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe it was about ksr her previous management team so basically that's what they're tweeting out they're like yo look whatever's going on with qc the quality control that has absolutely nothing to do with cardi b cardi b is she doesn't even have management currently um but one of the main reasons why I want to talk about this topic just has to deal with a lot of these rappers have been complaining about their management and complaining about the deals that they're in. Which y'all guys got to understand is a lot of these individuals that's working with these record deals, the management that you think is on your side, they really on the side of the record label. They got four or five artists with those guys. You understand what I'm saying? They trying to get other people deals also. So they working with the record label. So a lot of you individuals that's trying to get these get signed and y'all get signed to bad deals. It's not just you getting signed to bad deals because you don't know no better. It's also you getting signed to bad deals because your management might actively be trying to trick you for a piece of the pie. I'm just letting y'all know. If you need to look any closer to Meg The Stallion, I don't know what to tell you. Now when you hear that the Migos say that their um their 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 management team was basically taking money from them. Now you see why Cardi B is gonna step out the step out and say, "Yo, look, this is what's going on. That's what it is. All that other stuff, I don't got nothing to do with it." <laughs> Just like a Bronx chick, yo, look, that don't got nothing to do with me over there. <laughs> Y'all can't do that. She married to the dude. She's still like, "Look, you fucked up, homie. You better fix that." <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yo, I'm not even mad. That's some real shit, though. Y'all did all that happen before I got here, homie. You take it. What? What do y'all think? Put it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Um, do you think Cardi B should have came out and spoke on it? And even more importantly, do you think that management uh, groups might have issues in the future? I mean, often you're going to find these new um, up and coming artists and they don't know how to get their name out there. So they're going to want to sign with a management. But if you really listen to what uh, Takashi 69 was telling everybody when he was with... Um, the dj academics is he explained that you do not need management management is not necessary these vloggers out here they know exactly what to do to get you popping and that's what takashi said so i maybe look for the next iteration of the manager to be the vlogger because these management teams are actively cheating people out of millions of dollars and sooner or later people is going to decide to to fall in line and treat them and treat them and treat them that way you understand what i'm saying with that being said Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.